um, if we have somebody that's a natural competitor to us mm. or competition, then we have to view their, our relationship with them in a very different way. Mm. And it becomes social acceptance rather than socializing. Mm. And in the wolf world and the dog world, it's very, very similar. Mm. People would say that they want their dog to be sociable with all dogs. Yeah. And that's impossible. It's yeah. never going to be that way. There are going to be some animals that it can be sociable with, but there are going to be other animals where it will just socially accept them, which means that as long as I'm over there and you're over here, we're great, mm. but we would never come together in that yeah. way. But another animal I would quite happily play with for quite a long time. Yeah. So it's, it's, I think the key to it is understanding those, those social characteristics and the complementary that can happen. Mm. And again, that, that goes back to your decision maker. Mm. If you if you had two people at a business meeting that were com competitive to one another, mm. uh, that's going to end badly yeah. uh, without the other necessary characters around or mm. removing those characters or bringing another character in. Mm. So we very much start with who would be a natural complementary mm. for you, who would be a natural um, uh, emotional attachment to you mm. and that way we can get the best out of everybody. Mm.